Hello guys, welcome to AI Sciences once again. I am your instructor Sajjad Mustafa. We are AI Sciences and we make tutorials and lectures and courses for those who are beginners in artificial intelligence domain. So if you are new or you're a beginner, you're more than welcome. You can check out the link in the description and you will find a lot of courses that can teach you AI Sciences in a very good way. So let's get started with our today's agenda which is, which is creating dummy data by using Faker. Faker is another library that is quite underrated library of Python and it helps you making some fake data or you can say making some dummy data because fake sounds a little bit negative. So um, so what is the usage of dummy data first of all? Um, why do we need to create th this dummy data, right? The answer is if uh, it is mostly used in the testing scenarios. If you want to test your algorithm, you want to test your website or you want to test anything, uh, your mobile app or something, uh, you need to have a lot of data so that you can bombard your algorithm or website or, or mobile application with a lot of data. So from where that data will come? Your data will come from Faker and it is really handy and easy to use and by the end of this this video you'll be able to create let's say a json file of a of data of 100 students let's say or maybe a thousand or maybe a million students right so um so yeah that's our agenda for today and uh, let's go to python without wasting any time <laughs> But before going to Python, let's check out the documentation of Faker. So here is the documentation of Faker, uh, the official documentation of Faker. You can install it by using pep install Faker. And then it has a lot of docu documentation that will come back to it later. So first of all, this is how you can install Faker pep install Faker with a magic uh, with a magic sign that is exclamation mark. So let's run it. Um, so let it run and let's write from uh, from Faker. So here uh, it says that requirement already satisfied because I have already installed it on my machine. Uh, it if it is not installed at your machine, this this is how you can install it as well. So from Faker, um, I want to import Faker with a capital F. Let's run it. Awesome. Let's add a few more cells to our notebook, and here let's create an object of Faker. Let's say, let's call it dummy, right? Let's call it dummy. So dummy equals to um, faker. I mean, that will be a little bit confusing, right? So let's call it faker, F-A, let's call it fake, okay? So fake equals to faker object, right? Let's run it. Okay, so here, let's say fake dot, uh, what do we want to create uh, as a dummy data? Let's say, let's create email. So let's create fake email and let's run it that's it so if you run it it creates a fake email in exactly that format in which um, a certain email can be obviously it is not a real email address but uh, its format is exactly fine right so if i run it again it will create some different email address for me right because it it changes its its values in in its generator as well so if i run it again you will again get some different value right okay um, now um, how can we create let's say fake country names so this is how you can create fake country name that's it if i'll run it again here we go Croatia. here we go um, i cannot pronounce the name of this country but obviously this will be this might be some country um i think this is libya arab something something right so this is how you can pr uh, create the yeah you can create fake uh, fake country names um you can also create fake names as well so if i'll say fake name here we go it creates a fake name actually first name and last name as well if i run it again the name is different if i run it again the name is again different um if i want to create fake text can i do it yes i can do it this is how you can create a fake fake text um if i run it again the text will be changed if i run it again text will again be changed okay then so the next thing is um let's create uh, let's create fake or dummy let's say uh, latitude and longitude so let's say fake latitude and also f I want to create fake longitude yeah here we go so let's run it um, oh I didn't call the methods over here 
so it is actually printing the address of the method where it is stored in the in the memory right so here i i have to call it here we go so here it is it is printing some dummy latitude and longitude let's run it again let's run it again and so on right okay now um let's create a fake url address is it possible yeah it is possible right so that's how you can create fake dummy data if you want to test your your application or whatever you want to test right so um the next thing that we want to do is which is very useful it also create fake profile for you so if you'll write fake dot profile it will create a complete profile let's say um, job is prof uh, personal assistant company is this ssn number is this residence uh, i mean residence address is this current location is this blood group is AB, ab positive and website and so on if i just copy this and paste it over here i mean if i run it again here you can see that the the job the profile description has changed it is accountant or chartered public finance and company is this thing previously it was personal assistant so uh, you can also create fake profiles as well um, and if you want to um, you want to have just some limited um, limited options or limited keys from the fake profile you can you can just filter it out if you just need job and company and let's say name and username if you just need these four things you can easily filter it out right so and let me do it for you okay so let's say you just need job this this is how you can do that um uh, by the way previously it wasn't actor it was something because since it has run again that's why uh the job description has again changed so let me do something like this let me store it in uh something called profile right so also let's print that profile over here so this is the profile now what i'll do is i'll say i just need the job right this thing I, and i also need the company so let me come over here company and let's say i just need these two things so oh it says that it says what it says key error there is no job and company mm -hmm. profile was coming from here so let me see if it has yeah it has job and company let's run it again oh yeah it's right we cannot write it like this so we have to write something like um, profile job and uh, let's write it inside the print command so first we will uh, say profile job and then we'll say profile company right so it will print these both both of these things right so yeah that's how that's how you can work with it okay so the next thing is um, so let, let's say we want to uh, we want to get the data of a hundred students randomly right so first of all let's uh, import random from random let's import rand end right let's run it awesome so here let's say define get student data right and it will receive let's say it, it will receive the count right it will receive the count so how many uh, how much data do you need so here we'll say data right so data equals to um, mpti dictionary and then we'll say for i in range from zero to count right from zero to count and then here we'll say data equals to uh, actually data of i equals to mpti list because sorry mpti dictionary and then we'll say data of i of id so here we are going to write the id and from where id will come and yes obviously it will come from random int and from one to hundred you can generate any number for for the for the id right and then here we'll say um data of i yeah 
and we also want to write the name of student right from where name will come obviously it will come from fake dot name okay um, the next thing that we want to write is the address of student so we'll just say double -E -S address and we'll just copy this and we'll paste it over here right and what else let's say that's it we want to write uh, we want to get the ID name and address of students right so yeah that's about it and also um, let's return the data from here right okay now the next thing is what we want to do is let's say import JSON right first of all let's import JSON because we want to um, write these this data in the form of JSON right so here we'll say import JSON and here we'll say data equals to get student data and in this I'll pass let's say I need data of a hundred students it will work even if I write a thousand students or a hundred thousand students as well and then now here I want to write the data on first of all let's see how our data looks like so here is how our data looks like at index 0 we have ID which is 70 and name which is Robert Tenor and then we uh, we have some address then we have ID 76 name is Eric Paul and so on and so forth okay now let's write this data um, inside the folder on some JSON file so we'll say with open so here we'll write the name of file let's say students right dot JSON and here we'll say we want to open it for the writing purpose we'll open it as let's say FP right and here we'll say JSON dot dump so dump is a function that actually uh, that actually writes or dumps your your dictionary data to to the JSON file so uh, we want to dump this data and our writer would be FP and we also want to indent our data to four spaces actually this will be used for just for the beautification purpose it will indent your data for uh, for for the four number of spaces you can make it two as well but four looks pretty to me so let's run it and let's go to the folder here you can see that our data has printed the same data that was printed in the console screen so ID 70 name Robert Taylor and some address ID 76 name Eric Ball and so on yeah so that's about it if you go to the documentation of faker you will find a lot of interesting things as well you can by the way you can uh, print the localized data as well for example if you want to print the Italian data by default it prints the US English data right so if you want to print some Italian sort of data you can inside the faker you can write IT underscore um, uh, capital IT right and then it will it will print some Italian sort of data, Italian localized data right and uh, if you want to pr print let's say data of three nationalities right so let's say Italian English US English and Japanese as well so you, you can pass the list of those uh, variable and it will it will do the same thing it will obviously print the it will print randomly the data of these countries so yeah that's that's about it that's about the faker um, so once again if you like the video subscribe the channel and also hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any update um, I again appeal you to check out the link in description of our website where you will find a lot of books and a lot of courses related to artificial intelligence that will help you in growing your AI career thank you very much